That's Smoke. We got fire. Where's my main aim character? Well, that's not gonna work. Oh, so close. You can do it. Welcome back to Junkyard Resurrection. You guys know me, I'm Big Easy. I got Bobbo behind the camera. Now listen, there's a, a couple of comments about how, well, yeah, you, you're doing it in the summertime. You guys can get, that's easy to get stuff to run. It's not summer, in case you didn't notice around here. And while it's not minus 10 by any means, I think it's around zero, maybe three degrees Celsius. It is a lot harder to do in the winter. So I've picked some, relatively more difficult projects here. I don't even know what this is. I think it's a 352 Ford aficionados out there. What do you guys think? And gals, don't get me wrong. It, uh, yikes. This one has been sitting for, what year is it? 2023? Yep. So it's been sitting in this spot since the 90s, I believe and he said he used it as a dump truck sometime in the early 90s now at some point it did get moved here because you can see this uh, fuel line that i don't even know yeah it might still suck fuel so i've managed to find it's got a coil sit on top of it here i, I don't know if it's any good we'll find out uh i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw a battery in it I managed to borrow an ignition. Check this out, Bobo. From another truck. And we managed to get her, <laughs> just plugged her in underneath the dash so it's got an ignition. Because there's no keys for this one. And this truck was a full-time dump truck at one point, hence the PTO. So I think what we'll do, that's neutral. Let's check and see if she's got oil, hey, eh, Bobble? Let's see here. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't appear to have any water in it. Yep, that's oil. Okay. So, I wonder if it's... Oh. No, it spins. Check it out. Yep, that engine is free really free <laughs> which tells me that maybe there isn't a lot of compression because usually it's a lot harder but we'll give these a scratch out i'm going to throw the optima in it see if it'll crank and then we're going to put fuel to this thing and if i can get it to run i may even try to drive it a little bit all right time for the battery we'll be back look who remembered to bring the battery cleaner yeah yeah okay well listen i may be a bit forgetful at times okay sometimes listen Dude. listen how many times have you been in a coma once uh, excuse me what is in here are we gonna have a coma competition because we can if you'd like to okay because i've been in three two natural one medically induced coma you were there when i woke up okay yes how, how many units of how many units of blood? You know what? Edit in the picture of me waking up right here. It's pretty awesome with Bobo at the end of my arm taking a selfie. But listen, how many units of blood did I lose? Quite a bit. Like seven, eight units of blood, unconscious. Yeah, I'm not exactly the smartest freaking knife in the drawer to begin with. Okay, are we talking about dying or are we talking about comas? Both. Well, yeah, I've died twice. Okay, that affects it as well. How many times have you died? Zero. 18 freaking comas in eight years minor comas that you came out of quickly Dude, it was one i was in listen for three days are we getting the truck to run or are we having a coma I'm, competition I'm working here you well me. i'm trying to get this listen you're driving me nuts here bud okay can i clean the terminals and get my Just my clean. my job done yes so i can get back <laughs> oh karma's a son of a okay um that's why I like old trucks, because it's like me. They're a bit rough around the edges, kind of a bit portly, but working on it. And, uh, you know, still has some life left. 
Make sure you clean, eh? Do a good job there. Look at that, buds. You I know. Can eat off of it. I don't know if I'd eat off of this. I think you're good, bud. <laughs> That's clean. All right. Well, let's put a battery in it then. Did, you, did you remember to bring the battery? Like I remember to bring this. Yes. Look, it is right here. See it? Holy shit. Yeah, so grab the battery. Make yourself useful, okay? Jeez Louise. What are you here for? Listen. If you're going to insist on ranting on like this, I'm going to be forced to leave. I'm going to be forced to resign for being your brother-in-law. How would you do that, though? That would mean your sister would have to get rid of me, and that's not going to happen. Damn it. You might want to clean the terminals on that, too, hey? Why'd also, leave... I'd recommend putting it in the right way. Why, why, why did you leave it like this? The starter cell mode's right there, so that would be positive. Just a FYI, hey? Well, I don't know. I'm not a truck guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a okay. Jeep guy. Don't get on. You're, you're in the way of that shot, too. You gotta stand, like, beside it. There we go. Sorry! Oh, it's time lapse. I can't hear you. That's good. Throw it in. Spin it around though, yeah, the lots of it goes over there. It's just kind of nice just holding the camera. Although I'd like to apologize in advance if my camera work isn't the best because I'm not a cameraman. Bobo has uh, gotten quite good at it, me not so much. Okay, here, Bobo, maybe you take this and I'll... Oh, okay, sorry, you did tap it on, just tap it in there, tap it in. There okay. she's on, she's tight. All right, you take this. I'm gonna see if it, just to see if it'll crank. Let's see if we get some sparks, some fire. Yeah, I think it's in neutral. Uh, I'm getting out of the way then, if yeah. you don't know. Uh, well, it's not gonna catch. Let's just see if it cranks. That's smoke. Sign. We got little, fire. A little bit of smoke on the. <laughs> Got a little bit of smoke on the terminal. Yeah, that, uh, but hey, let's put some fuel in it and see if it catches. On fire? Well, we got fire extinguishers, don't we? Nope. There's one in the truck. I always have one in the truck. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You took it out. I didn't take any fire you put it. You hooked it, up into, you hooked it up into the shop. Yeah, but there's another one. There was, at least. You took that one out and you hung it at the front door of the shop. I had extra ones. Well, what happens if it catches fire now? Blake, okay. we'll lift Blake up. He can, Blake can pee on it. If this catches fire, you have to run and get a fire extinguisher. There's snow right here, dude. I'll just pick up a, a snowball and throw it at it. You're, you know, where's my mayonnaise jar? Where is it? Passenger side in front of the uh, wheel well. That's it. Now, are we sure this has gas in it? If somebody hadn't have lost the original squirt bottle. <coughs> yep, it's high test. Smells like high test. I don't, this is the problem though, we don't have a tip. I'd like to try to stick it in there. Oh, the choke kind of works too. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just see if we can get it to pop and make noise. What do you say, Bobo? Give her, buddy. Don't forget the mustard, too, eh? Yeah. Gotta have all the condiments when trying to start old trucks. Just put a little bit in there. Not too much, but give her a little bit of choke. Okay. Stand back. Stand back. Let's find out what happens here. Hmm. The current's good. I don't... Oh. Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> not hooked up? No. I did not notice that. Let's get some of these leaves and branches off of here. Okay. Where is the other... Yeah, it helps to have the coil hooked up. Ah, 
Okay, let's try this. Slide that onto there. We'll see. Clean a little more of this off. I mean, it's all damp. I doubt it's gonna catch fire. But now that it's got spark, or it should have spark, let's try and crank it again. Wiggle that terminal there. It might be hot, but you might need the jump box. I thought I charged that battery. Well, it's hot down here too. Yeah, I know. It's a bit uh, crusty. Although it's not like it's melting. I think it's just working hard, right? That uh, starter solenoid is a bit, <sighs> bit rugged. Well, she's cranking good. Give her some gas. Well, I'm gonna, but I gotta put more in it. I'm not sure that it's got spark. It doesn't sound like it, to be honest. How does spark sound? You can tell the difference in the way an engine sounds, for sure. Like, if it coughed or made a pop, etc., etc. It's got points, so... It might be like the other one where we got to... Uh, it's pretty clean. Okay, we could also just energize the coil with a wire if we need to. Let's put a little more gas in there, see if we get lucky. I'll try to give it some, well, but giving it gas won't really help because there's no jerry can. I believe I'm getting some down the vent. We'll put a little bit in here. Give her a little more choke. Let's see. She didn't get no spark. Let's try. Did you bring a spark tester? Okay. Uh, it's in the black box in the garage oh, back that's... on the island. That's a good spot for it. We have two of them actually, hey? Could just be a dead coil too. Well, let's take a look inside this cap. Okay, let me see here. The points don't look shot. <clears throat> Clean them off a little bit here and see what we come up with. Don't cut yourself, we're far from a hospital. Yeah, I know. All right, you go crank it. I'm gonna see if I can Just see anything. Let's see here. Okay, yep, it's got spark here. We're good here. Awesome. It's pro it might have been all it needed because they were stuck together, right? That'll happen when you leave the key on. Yeah, you left the key on. So, well, where's that battery tool? Hang on one second. There you go. Thanks. Oh, I've seen that coming, hey? Hey, Fumbelina. Yeah, I know. It's pretty bad. What do you do? At least we know where it went. Okay. Well, the cap doesn't look too bad, actually. So, I know it's sparking really, really hot. So, we got spark. 
it may just be that it's cold out. Hence the reason why people were giving us grief for always doing it in the summer. <laughs> okay, all the plug wires are on. Alrighty here, let's... Is this a two barrel? Dumbass. <laughs> Did not realize it was a two barrel. That's my bad. Okay, let's see here. coughed by now. It's got spark. It's got fuel. I <sighs> wonder if maybe it's not getting spark out to here. <sighs> Gotta check them all. Spark and fuel means you should run. Can I do the old in the dipstick trick here? Am I close enough? I don't know if that's close enough. I'm trying to get close to metal, right? Because I hate hanging on to it. I mean, it's got a rubber handle I can, but... That's an electrician's screwdriver, so I ain't going to do anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, well, hold it right there and tell me if it makes spark. Can you do that in film? Or do you, I wanna see if it's got spark. I was gonna, I was gonna try to kinda, that's kinda the problem, right, is. Oh, we should see that right there. Okay, tell me if you see spark right there. That should be. Look right there by that bolt and see if you see anything. Yeah. Okay, good. Then it's just because it's cold. Wicked. Or there's no compression left. But now we know it's getting out to the cylinders. So, get this back onto that plug. <laughs> The old uh, washer fluid bottles a bit. Uh... Okay, well let's try, maybe if I put a little bit of gas in this small jerry can, put that hose in it, the hose isn't cracked, and then put more fuel into the vents, we'll give that a shot, because we got spark, it should catch. Some fresh 91. So the full one or the empty one? It, it's full. Thankfully, you weren't filming when I grabbed the empty one in there and went, what the? Okay, now this was previously rigged up in there. <laughs> it's dry, so we'll be all right.
Put enough fuel in this bad boy. That should be. If I can get her down in here again. As long as it's not against the fan. Okay. Is that in the fuel? I'm thinking no. Yep, it's in the fuel. Okay. Now, obviously I'm not going to drive it like this. We'll get rid of this. It's no good anyways. A little more room for the jerry can. Okay, this truck is not long for this world. But, I'm determined to get it to run. Put a little bit of fresh gas in this. Also, you should probably have gloves on. Do as I say, not as I do, gang. Get in the vent, get in the vent. Ah, damn it. I miss our old squirt bottle, Bobo. I'll have to find a new one for you. Yeah, I don't know where that one went. I also don't want to start Wait, the green. Why you got to squirt it over? I did not mean to, okay? Unlike a lot of different channels and shows, we don't edit out everything that goofs up. I was trying to get it down into what I assume is the vent, and I, I made a mistake, okay? What are you calling out, dude? Why are you, always, why are you being so hard on me today? Okay? Because it's Saturday. Every Saturday I'm hard on you. That's true. Okay. Make sure that uh, can doesn't go into the fan. <laughs> you mean the fan go into the can? Either or. Or the can into the fan. Fan in the can? can Whichever. The fan. There you go. Ooh, baby. Oh, uh, the hose keeps popping out of the cast. Oh, so close. So we got the jerry can strapped in. I'm gonna try to get some of the... You know a car's been sitting, or truck, whatever, for a long time. I'm not getting all those out. Is my fat ass gonna fit in there? Yeah, it should. Okay, so it should fire right up. Bobo, you look for smoke or any dangerous things. Now this truck's not a restoration candidate, so. We're okay to go there. Okay. 
You can do it. You're just spinning the back tire on this side.